That's Sunny. She trains the animals to complete tasks, like sitting still, Hold. tapping their flipper, Tap. Good girl. or showing their tongue. Good. We're just doing some exercises for her, get her blood moving a little bit. At Long Marine Lab, scientists train Cute. sea lions and seals to participate in a variety of studies. Their latest research is on ice seals. We're doing this project to try to better understand how uh, ice seals live in the world and how these animals are going to be affected by the loss of sea ice in the Arctic. Part of the project happens here in California. The rest of the project happens at the Alaska Sea Life Center in Alaska. This bearded seal and all ice seals depend on ice for their survival. They live on shifting ice flows or landlocked ice, dive deep to forage, and ringed seals even build ice caves to hide from polar bears while they raise their young. The thing is, ice seals are pretty difficult to find in the wild. Because of that, nobody really knows how well they are surviving. And now, because of rising global temperatures, the polar ice is melting. The current Arctic sea ice coverage is only 10% of what it was just 30 years ago. So, to understand how the seals will deal with the shrinking ice cap, first, we need to understand the basics. And to do that, we need a team of scientists and their animal partners. Like this ringed seal. Her name is Nyak. Her first task in the morning is to sit still for 5 to 10 minutes. And for her, that's a challenge. In order to measure their metabolic rate, Nyak swims under a dome. When the animals go underneath that metabolic hood, they rest underneath that and we collect their respirations. Scientists can measure oxygen consumption, calculate energy use, and really start to understand the ring seal's metabolism. This bearded seal is named Noatek. So whiskers are often used in studies of wild individuals. You can collect a whisker and tell a lot from that whisker sample. As a whisker grows, it encodes information about their diet. Station, hold, good. The ultrasound measurements were measuring blubber depth at various parts of their body. The reason blubber is an important metric for body condition in marine mammals is that it's, it is used as thermal insulation, but is also a, an energy store. Good boy. So we just like to get him in this position in the water so we can take a really nice assessment of his coat and his body, make sure he doesn't have any scratches or lumps, so it's just a, a way for us to kind of check them out in the morning. And then there's the photo shoot, where the scientists take photos and measurements to document the animal's physical change and growth. We're studying how these animals work, how their bodies work, what parameters within their environment they need to survive and thrive in the wild. I think the ultimate hope is that we can really utilize this cooperative framework to produce valuable data that will actually go towards conservation and management efforts for these species. This research will arm them with the data they need to advocate for the ice seals. These individual animals can give us a window into the biology and behavior of the entire species. And who better to help collect data than NIAC and NOATEC ambassadors for the ice seals.